So surprisingly, there was really not a single video and just very, very sparse information on how to do this. So I'm gonna walk you guys through what I did. It's not cleaned up yet, um, but that's not the point of this video. First thing you're gonna need is a bunch of uh, 18 to 22 gauge wire, some uh, heat shrink tubing, some sort of momentary switch. I got this thing out of the junkyard. Um, it actually came off of an Oldsmobile of all things, but a switch is a switch. So I just used a step drill bit to drill the hole into my little panel here. You're gonna need this uh, diode. It's a one amp diode, 50 volt. You can get these at really any uh, specialty store that sells it. Um, so what you're gonna need to figure out is inside of this harness, there's a blue wire. That wire is right here. It actually works. So I just uh, soldered this connector on. I just kind of had it temporarily in, in place. So you want to use these if you're soldering on a little diode. So you guys will see in that diagram that I included. Pause the video right now if you want to look at that any closer in the video if that link's been taken down. But so I've got the gray part going towards the switch. So you can see right here, this is the power to the battery. I'll show that in a minute. And then this is the part that's going back to the trunk. So going straight to the harness is right up in here. This is where your whole junction box, where everything connects to. So this is your harness. This is to the trunk. So all I did was nip this blue wire in half and soldered in the diode, which was probably the most difficult of, out of everything. Just, you know, trying to hold the thing and have it sit there and accept the solder. It was kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but anyways, so long story short, that's what I did. So you remember gray part away from the harness towards the switch. Then here is the other wire that I soldered in a piece right here to join it together because you basically, if you want to look at it this way, you're basically having the wire come off of the switch, go straight to here. And then in between, you need that diode to connect it to the other end of this harness here. So for, for the power, I ran a long piece of wire straight from the battery. I might put a, uh, a fuse on it, but I haven't got that far yet. Um, just wiring it, nutted it on just to make sure everything's working. You guys can see up in there, I took all of the, the camera can see it. I took all of the tape off of that thing and then went in through the side here. And you guys can see it right there. So I ran that wire right through here. There's plenty of slack in here, so it's not gonna be rubbing on anything. And then I just did that. Heat shrink, and then a proper size terminal. So I might nip this thing here and uh, put in a fuse. Let me make sure that's closed. There it is. Works perfect. Probably get the weight off of that. But anyways, I saw that there was no videos up showing how to do this, and uh, I decided to hopefully help some of you guys out. Shouldn't be too bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and deal with all this heat shrink, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.